Sound from the heavens bearing the gift to Jometheus, and today I just wanted to make a little quick video because I got a little bit more time before my wash is done, and I figured this would make a pretty good uh, Wednesday video, maybe walk through Wednesday. Um, either that or I might put it, no, because Tuesday's my Let's Play day, so I'll, I'll just put it here. Um, I wanted to make a video doing a little tour, a little walkthrough of how my setup is. Um, the programs, different programs that I use, and all that kind of sort of stuff. Uh, in case, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if anybody who watches might want to be doing something of their own similar to this, but I could give it a shot. So let's take a tour without the further delay. Did I do my intro? Let me do it again. Down from heavens bearing the gift it's Jometheus. I don't know if I did that already, but we will figure it out. So, I got my desk here. I recently rearranged the room. There's no more mirror there anymore. I don't know if it ever popped up in another video, but there's not anymore. So, majority of the work that I do is with my phone, which is what I'm recording on. It's my iPhone. I just literally just record with the video function on there. Um, but my majority of the other stuff that I do is on my macbook my macbook pro um for today uh it, you might have watched this or i don't know it probably is going to come out a little later in the week but i'm doing a little drawing video another drawing video um so my setup for that is i use autodesk sketchbook and to record i am currently in this right now i use quicktime player and just do audio recording I use my blue snowball that's my new mic here so typically I'll record the video with this but it's better to record the audio with like a professional mic so I'll do that um, as far as lighting goes because you want to have good lighting um, I'm currently using this is just a makeup vanity or mirror whatever the fuck you want to call this is Kate's um, I was using a different one before um, and I only recently started doing that. Otherwise, I would just have the lamp in the corner because we used to have a different lamp in this corner, but changed it out for this one because I had the shelves so I can put my shit on there. Um, but we had a different lamp that lit up the room a little bit more, so wider on the walls. And, like, you could point one of the arms at the wall, one at the ceiling, and then, like, the whole room would kind of be lit. Um but we kind of just have that now so for specific lighting for me so that I'm still well lit I like to have something there to use um, and yeah so that's my setup for that for capturing I actually do two different things depending on what I'm doing uh, for screen capturing on this laptop which is my other laptop this is my gaming laptop um, what I'll usually do is I will we'll use the Xbox app, which I don't see it on here, but I always just kind of use the function on there. And now the Xbox app is actually very useful. Uh, the Xbox Game Bar, I think it's called. Yeah, so basically what that is, is whatever function, whatever thing that you have open, and it could be a game, but it really doesn't even have to be. Even if you just use our, like, like Google Chrome or something. That's how I recorded my Pals Hellhole video and my, um, what's it called? The, oh yeah, the uh, Divorced Birds video. That's how I recorded that, because I used that setup. Uh, but yeah, you just capture here. And once you're done, you hit end, and it saves to wherever you're going to go. And I'll typically have my audio going with my MacBook at the same time, just because that's easier to deal with. And but yeah, that's how I uh, record for gaming videos. And I'll, I'll, I use my laptop there. I used to try and do it on the Xbox. That's why I only ever did like a couple videos for what's it called for like Red Dead or something like that. It's much harder to record on the actual Xbox, ironically, even though I'm using the Xbox app on my laptop. Um, screen recording on the MacBook I don't know if I mentioned but it's literally it's easiest thing it's built into the computer it's this app called screenshot where you can just record you the screen and 
yeah, I mean, it's one, two, three. Um, but yeah, I've got my guitar up there. My setup is pretty much the same thing with the mic and the camera, my phone, for when I'm recording uh, those kinds of videos. Um, again, the standalone mic captures the audio a little bit better, but the video is perfectly fine with my iPhone camera. And um, yeah, that's, pr that's pretty much it. Uh, that's my whole setup. And then as far as editing goes, when I'm all ready to edit my video together, I will take the video and I'll airdrop it from my phone to uh, my laptop. If I'm recording like a game thing from this computer, I'll just take the saved file and email it to myself and um, put it up on here. And I use iMovie, which is another standard software that comes with the MacBook. And it's, you know, I just edit, I add in all my media, my audio and my video. I try and sync that up first and then cut it, uh, cut it together, you know, edit out all the dead air. It's, I think this video had like half of it was literally dead air. It was like five and a half minutes long and then I cut it down to 249. And then I'll add in a music track over it and then usually how I'll do that is I'll either record myself playing guitar or I'll go into GarageBand, which is another standard software. Free comes with the iMac. I mean, it's, <laughs> I got this as a gift the iMac and I'm or the MacBook and I'm pretty lucky that I did um, because it comes with so much standard software that it's just so easy to work with and it's free um, but yeah that's uh, that's pretty much my whole thing once I'm ready to do it I'll go in I'll hit share and either prepare it for Facebook because I usually will upload it separately to Facebook or I'll upload it directly to YouTube the YouTube's a higher quality one Facebook's a little lower quality but they're either way they're still pretty good yeah it's that's if you are interested in doing something similar that's my whole deal and would say that you kind of use what you have i used to just use my phone um because the mic on the apple cord was a little bit better like with the the wired headphones the mic on there actually is pr a pretty decent quality mic that's what i used to use um but on the AirPods, it's not as good. So, um, yeah, you can record on... I can record on my laptop. There's a recording app on there. I can record just straight from my MacBook, but I just like having a little bit extra. But if you just kind of work with what you have. If you don't have that, then just, you know, work around it how you can. Um, there's not one good way to set up. There's many more expensive ways to do this if you're working a little bit more quality but I mean if you are interested in making videos it's not too hard um, it might be a little bit harder to edit together for if you don't have an Apple product because iMovie I used to also edit on my phone so I would do pretty much the whole package before I had my MacBook on my phone I would record the audio, the video, and edit together in iMovie on my iPhone. Um, I know that there is software for uh, PC. Uh, they don't have Windows Movie Maker anymore, which is what I <laughs> used when I made videos way, way, way back when, uh, before I ever had this channel, like when I was a kid. But um, yeah, I don't know. There's There should be some nice free software if you if you're willing to look into it. Uh, out there uh, and then there's always some paid software if you don't mind putting out a little bit of money for it um, but yeah that's that's all I really wanted to do today I just wanted to figure it'd be an interesting video to show you through my whole setup how I do this and so um, yeah I guess that's it for today so uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, I love you bye